strong. Welcome back, guys. New episode of the Big Fat Podcast, powered by Crofts with Green, fueled by Spent and Reset, supported by Fat Nutrition, Fat Barbell, and Fat Gymnastics. Guys, first episode where we've had our first member on the podcast, Mr. Donald Gilligan. I feel very privileged. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Donald, how are you? I'm very good. Very okay. good indeed, yes. So we've two things we're going to go through, your CrossFit Green journey and your life, and of course, your marathon run that you did for your 60th birthday. Well, I'll be 60 this year, so this year. We, we just... Time is t- ticking, so I had to do it sooner rather than later. Didn't okay. want to do it in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. It's not a bad shout doing it in May time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, firstly, obviously, how long are you a member in CrossFit Green? Jesus, I thought about that as I was driving over. I can't remember. I'd say about four years. Four years? Yeah, I'd say about How four. did you end up here? Teresa. Teresa, who uh, has never been too pushed about sport in her life or athletics in her life, decided that she wanted to get fit and uh, she joined uh, one Christmas um, and uh, really enjoyed it and was telling me for a while, come down, come down. I said, oh, well, I don't need to. I'm a footballer. I'm an athlete. I don't need I, I don't need this. <laughs> Lead athlete. <laughs> yes, exactly. And uh, so eventually I came down and uh, yeah, uh, I got the drug too. So yeah, yeah. But we, both, we were both going five days a week. And was Cathy here before T and Cathy in I think Cathy was here before I think Cathy was here before Teresa okay I think she was doing so. PTs with Dave I think already. yeah was yeah that? okay exactly. uh, so you were here so she joined that Christmas and was it the following Christmas then at the Christmas party where you won your first award yes yeah okay. so um, you're the only couple who have been back to back we were power couple back to year. back power couple and we we decided we didn't want to win it anymore because <laughs> other people would resent it <laughs> were, you, were you nominated the, the third year I no, I don't think I don't know, and I, 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 we certainly made it known that we didn't want to win it again. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was some there comparison. Would be, there would have been fighting and clawing of eyes out, and <laughs> it wouldn't have looked good. <laughs> well, we had two different comparisons. I remember the first year you went up, T wouldn't go up with you to collect the award, and you were very guys. I really appreciate the award; it's lovely. And then the next year you went up, the two you went up, and I don't think you said anything. You just stood on stage doing a dance, pretty much. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Yeah. So some comparison between the two years. Yeah, yeah, we're getting like, too familiar. That's probably it. <laughs> uh, as well, obviously, you are, uh, I suppose, 90% of our members probably already know this. You are the owners of 8A Brazier, Brazier? Brasserie. Brasserie. Yeah. Brasserie. Yeah. Uh, restaurant in Monkstown. That's right, okay. yeah. Yeah, no, we've had great support from everybody in CrossFit. It's been... Uh, it's nearly worth our while joining them to get the get, <laughs> get all the customers out. <laughs> um, so. And obviously, even closed down for most of lockdown. Yeah, we've been closed. Uh, we've been closed. I'd say we've lost the guts of a year in the last uh, fifteen the months. La- yeah, absolutely. Um, like there's parts of it that are very frustrating, and then there's other parts that you just sort of uh, accept it and get on with it. We're we're a lot better off than most in terms of we have a good deal with the landlord okay. uh, we don't owe a lot of money don't no bank <coughs> loans and that type of stuff so that saved us yeah. like if we had just gone into the restaurant and would ha- have all the initial outlay we'd be we'd be bust you know yeah. places just can't, I, 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 I I feel for co- companies that have just started up and put yeah. a load of money in the same I think like in Ennis where we're from I think a lot of pubs like because a lot of them are wet pubs in Ennis I don't think yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, there's a good few I think that have haven't come out the other side, unfortunately. Yeah, no, it's it's, it's, it's been terrible for uh, for this industry, you know. So hopefully, I think we'll get a good bang out of it uh, when we get when we reopen fully, because people haven't done anything. There's been no right. parties, no nothing for the guts of a year and a half. So the survivors well, will certainly do well Christmas anyway you're talking about five months where people actually haven't been able yeah, to yeah but even if you think about moment. it like even in that two and a half months that we were open X amount of people didn't come out at all anyway you know there was a, there was no communions no christenings no none of that stuff yeah. in that period so none of that has happened on a large scale so that's where we're hoping to kick Ooh. in now and afterwards you but I'd say it'll be a while you know it's a, we'll They'll, there'll be restrictions for a while when we yeah. get on the inside as well so hopefully hopefully with vaccinations and everything hopefully. else we move on you know obviously you got your golden jab as well you got your Pfizer jab I got I got the AstraZeneca uh, jab so that's oh you got the AstraZeneca one yeah okay. yeah cheap and cheerful 
Okay. <laughs> Chief engineer. For, so you have to wait, what, 12 weeks for three weeks? 12 weeks, yeah. Okay, that's yeah. not too bad. Um, I had a point that I wanted to go down there, I can't remember what it was. Uh, this year, well, you had your first grandson as well? First granddaughter. Granddaughter, granddaughter sorry. Alana, yeah. So, no, that, that has been one of the huge bonuses of uh, lockdown. We've been available for um, taking her for walks, babysitting nonstop. So, yeah. no, it's been great and we've loved it. So, it's, uh, it's a special time. Love it. With the eight A stuff as well, sorry, uh, you have outdoor facilities, don't you? We have outdoor seats. Yeah, we've we've got uh, about twenty six seats outside, okay. and then I think I'm going to stick a few tables on the street. I'm going to ask the neighbours, going to stick a few tables in their That's courtyard, so try and make it bigger. Yeah. So That's good. yeah, with, but it was all well dependent. Like if it was what day was it? Lash and rain all day. It was Sunday. If it was like Sunday. Your day is gone. There's, yeah. nothing, there's nothing. Exactly. Gonna happen, no one wants. Like I don't even want to eat outside in the sun. No, no like exactly. So. <laughs> so, well, like we we can we can hide you from the sun, but we can't hide you. Like Sunday. we've got two awnings, but with rain's heavy like Sunday, you're in trouble. No use. You know, yeah. you just send everybody home. Yeah. So. Well, that's why I'm hoping it rains as much as it can now in just uh, May. The so leaving the weather is juicy yeah, anyway. Exactly. Yeah. That's that's my <laughs> hope now. <yeah. laughs> that's probably why we're getting the rain now. It's just like we hang, we yeah. keep the sun for the rest. I'm doing rain hours. dances and everything yeah, at the moment. <laughs> then. Uh, on the lockdown stuff as well, obviously, even with us on Zoom, I'm pretty sure you and T have to have the most hours racked up on Zoom. I would, I hours. would absolutely say so because there's. When both of us aren't working, there's no structure to our day. Yeah. So uh, CrossFit, in essence, gave us a structure to our day. We, as you know, we're ten o'clock people co- through and through. So we'd always get going for the ten, and then there'd usually be stretch afterwards, or the um, the breathing with uh, Sonia, or there'd yeah. be gymnastics, or you know, all those. So we joined in every we joined in every club that would have us. How is your mobility and stretch and handstands after it? My handstands have never been better. Jane was saying you're going, you go mad for the handstands. Well, I tell you, it's it, it's curious because obviously the age that I am, for years I used to have problems with my shoulders, and in the in the last couple of years I don't have problems with my shoulders because I've been doing. What's in uh, your elbow now? Yes, yeah, my elbow now. It just goes it goes up and down the various parts of my body, but yeah. So like, and I, I would religiously every day try and do about uh, 15 20 handstands just to every day every but most days most when I'm days. not when I'm in a reasonable state yeah, yeah. I do it so it's uh, good to keep it up it's and so hopefully Jane will get back to doing it inside so yeah. she can correct my flaws on <laughs> <laughs> uh, that as well I think Richie and Lauren said that you did you and T did pretty much every single nutrition talk. We did, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and it was a good learning curve. You know, you think you know. You, certainly, you think you know your what's good for you, what's not good for you. But listening to the two of them, who have a great knowledge of it, yeah. certainly gave you great insight. That's good. So, like, I wasn't a great man now for um, doing everything right. But I was listening to everything, which is sad about <laughs> So, no, we, uh, we did. Because we were at home, and it's funny, even with, with, the, with the football, you see the lads who put on the COVID stone. Yeah. It's very easy. So, like, we did, I did stop all the, uh, there was no brownies to eat. Yeah. So, um, so I, did, I didn't do any sweet things. Um, but, yeah, it was, it was great to do, you know. It was... But again, like we, we even heard them talking a good bit about it. Like when like you're at home all the time, your output is so little. Yeah. Like you're yeah. not running around the restaurant. Yeah. Was it five, six nights a week? Well, th- that curiously is one of the reasons I started running during lockdown. Yeah. Because um, like I, there was no, I wasn't playing football on Sundays, but we were still going for drinks on Sundays. So we'd meet. Uh, <laughs> At the, at, at you're the, like a group of teenage delinquents. exactly we are yeah we'd meet outside we were outdoors through the winter all all through the cold uh, uh, January they served in Three Rock and so we'd be there at 12 o'clock which is more or less our football time yeah. and we'd have four or five pints and I said god I better do something if I'm I better justify my four or five pints so I started running yeah. on the Friday to Before justify, the pints, justify yeah, yeah. having Just the pints the- on the Sunday <laughs> <laughs> um so I suppose we move on to that part as well. You obviously recently just ran 
was it 40 how long is it 42 kilometers 42.2 yeah 42. Full marathon, yeah. two kilometers ran a full marathon you did it for charity i did it for charity yeah my sister my sister's down syndrome and she's in a residential care in chapel is it okay so uh i did it for that, that out there in saint louis's so it was i suggested at the start i said i need to do something uh especially in lockdown uh something and to keep I, you motivated some, like, something to keep you, and to some work for charity so uh i said to james i'll do a half marathon and uh, he said oh you'd be well able to do a marathon <laughs> and, uh, like a sucker i took the bait and went for it <laughs> so yeah it was uh I said, like I, I decided and did it within three months, so I was happy enough with that. Jeez, that's a quick you know. turnaround. Had you ever ran a marathon before? No, I, I, I personally, jogging doesn't really do it for me. I yeah. don't particularly. Like, I've always just jogged to uh, stay fit. I don't. I didn't. Uh, you don't want to be competitive in it. No, I don't want to be competitive or anything like that. So, well, I couldn't be competitive, but um, no, I just did, I did it to stay fit. So um, the plan was. In conjun- it worked out well with the uh, the jogging here, so I do the 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 jogging with. Uh, I never did it with you. I think Rich, I yeah, no, I did you only Rich, did the evening ones. Rich, yeah, never seven a.m. was way too. That's early. what I was going to say. Is, too, is it too early for you? Yeah. <laughs> way too early. I might go to bed at seven, but I never get up at seven. Um, so I did it with Richie, Dave, and Keen. <laughs> Uh, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, which was great, and sometimes that was nearly a private class because uh, at five o'clock it didn't suit most people. Yeah. It certainly suited me, so I do the sort of the sh- the short runs uh, with with the lads, and then uh, usually on a Saturday I'd go for a long run. Long run, yeah. So and I just built it up. I did sort of started with twelve, and then I went to fifteen, then I went to twenty. Then I went to 25 and then I went to 32. 32 was the la- a week before the marathon. Yeah. And uh, then I said I had to find 10. You did to, the final one. Yeah. So on that as well, sorry, you're doing it for your uh, your sister's place yeah, in Chapel yeah. Lizard. Yeah. Uh, have you, it was obviously on GoFundMe. Is this still open? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, we've raised nearly seven grand. I've been absolutely delighted. Everybody from CrossFit has been brilliant. Uh it's, it's funny how how it works um all the family dug in obviously then customers from 8a came in all the lads all their teammates out in st john's uh they uh they all chipped in and then so, uh, uh, some of the lads who uh, play for st john's came on the run with us as well so mm, it, was, it was a it was a real team effort uh, so guys on the Spotify or the description on the YouTube video whichever you're watching on there will be a link below if you want to donate to, uh, to obviously help out as well no, no, thank you brilliant. very much for yeah, yeah. Um, so on that as well on the actual so you built up to the run obviously you were doing the 5k's here with Keen and Richie and Dave every now yeah, and again and yeah. then Saturdays so you decided three months before it yeah so you did 12k the first week 12k then 15 and then a couple few 20s 15. you did a few 20s yeah i did a few 20s uh, like were you because trying I, to I, because I, not, well, what i was also trying to do was find the easiest possible route with the least amount of hills from i ran out my door and then i'd sort of loosely go on a route so i used to head towards monkstown and try and find where the the least amount of hills there yeah for the way back the way back was because obviously Ballantyre where I live is on the is on a hill. Yeah. So I was trying to find where <laughs> the least amount of hills yeah, were. Yeah, yeah. So eventually we, we, we plotted we plotted a route that was reasonable. Certainly all the way down to uh, Monkstown was downhill. Then we did along the coast, which was nice. Until when we hit Dunleary Pier, it was bloody gale on Dunleary Pier, but that wasn't for that long. And then back up along the coast up to uh, Booterstown. And then into UCD from Booterstown. Then I did a couple of laps of UCD. So you finished in UCD? Did you? No, no, I finished up in Marty Park. Marty Park, okay. So, um, how many people actually did the full thing with you? So I know you're. So your two myself, friends. Jack, and James did it, uh, and then uh, two of their pals, Finn on and Darren, did it. Are they St John's Club. St John's, yeah. yeah. And then uh, James's uh, fiance Tara, she said she'd run the tw- first twenty k with us. And she never stopped. She kept going, yeah. which was amazing. She didn't really do any training at all. She just went in cold. And yeah, now she was, she was nearly as bad as me when we finished. Yeah. But she did it, which was amazing. 
you know for i think she did one a couple of runs uh beforehand but never did more than 20 and she did the whole thing in one go so and then we're uh sorry what time did you finish it i think i did four uh four hours 40 minutes four hours 40 minutes so it's my record which will never be broken <laughs> <laughs> retire undefeated I yeah <laughs> exactly that's the way to go out um but on top of that as well like were you surprised with a marathon and kind of because you you are a good runner i well I, like i'm a consistent runner like I, I can keep going but uh what i was surprised about was uh the aches and pains that come into it after 20 plus k like i never really had pain before running yeah. And then when, when when you go into those um, uh, longer runs, all of a sudden you God Almighty, there's your knees are hanging off, you, your feet are hanging off you. It's uh, and uh, on that last run, I went to I went to uh, for to a physical therapist that does the Dublin team. He does the lads team as well. Yeah, and he pummeled me. <laughs> this is before or after? Yeah, and, and before okay. I went on the on the thir- on, I think it was either the Wednesday or the Thursday before the Saturday, and he sort of did deep tissue massage and everything else. I couldn't walk out of the bloody house, <laughs> and I I think that was a mistake. I think I, I it was too close to the run. Yeah, because once I started running, I was beginning to feel my knees after ten k and oh my journey, Mac. And then I I had a, a powder break. For at at one stage, and when I tried to start running afterwards, it took me five minutes to get the legs. Uh, I can imagine. Back I know that feeling. Again, you I know? know that feeling. Yeah. So, uh, but no, it was grand. Like I was, uh, I recovered within twenty four hours. I was in a heap, and then forty eight hours, I was, I was okay. It was good as gold. Know? Yeah, yeah. No, the the knee was hurting me playing football today af- on Sunday after about uh, an hour, but yeah, an hour is fine. You know. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Well, like I. I think people find it very surprising about like you don't run at your 5k pace on a yes on a yeah. marathon it's just about kind of getting through it it's about surviving yeah yeah it is it definitely is uh you start you start off at a nice clip but as uh as tara said if anybody saw us running around marley for the last 5k you're just crawling like, along yeah, with crawling it. just along. doing what you had to barely do to get it putting done. one leg in front of another and then keen and richie uh met us and they were jogging around and keen as is his way, was jogging around. I was, I was literally he was just going, going to bring up this point faster about. and faster and faster. And Jack was keeping up with him. Yeah. And then he said, Jack said to Keen, Keen, you're killing me here. <laughs> we, me and Keen literally just had this conversation before we come on. I was actually going to bring it up as well. <laughs> oh, it was hilarious. We were talking about Keen has done this kind of new thing on the Friday Run Clubs. Yeah. We're still doing them. That uh, we'll come up. He's like, we'll run as a group. We're going to run at a five minute pace. It was like, if you can run the five minute pace, stay with the group. If you can't, just uh, we'll walk back to you and the rest of whatever and then I was we were running there long and I was like Key, this is not a five minute pace I am dying here this is not a five I looked down at my phone it was like a 4.25 I'm yeah, like yeah. dude you're killing me yeah. he's too quick for his own good yeah. uh, but like as well he's doing his fucking 6k fresh in year yeah, one yeah exactly and he, he was in the park with uh, with Teresa and, and uh, all the family and he was saying oh, I'm not going to go I'm not going to go I don't feel like it and then all of a sudden, <laughs> he, he appears, and then he's uh, his child Carly was there doing it with us, yeah. and uh, he, he's jogging along casually, and then suddenly he gets the pace just gradually up, gets and up and up and up and up just because so. he starts talking, so he stops yeah, paying attention, exactly, yeah, and it just yeah. gets faster and faster. No, he he was he was called back into line, <laughs> so I had to finish first. <laughs> you had to finish first, of course. Yeah. 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 Uh, how many points did you have then the Sunday after? Uh, I we had we on on the Saturday we went back to James's back garden, okay. uh, but like we were all zonked, so I'd say we only had three or four beers. I'd say you were and, poop at half. Yeah, like, you just didn't have the energy to. No, you didn't, didn't, <laughs> certainly didn't have the energy to go up and go to the fridge and get another yeah. beer. Yeah, and then on Sunday. Well, we always have a few beers after football, so we did about three beers after football. I think that's all the lads could take. I was yeah. boring them too much about uh, my <laughs> run, so <laughs> they're running away from me. Now. They don't want to hear anything else. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, look, Don, it's a great accomplishment. Right. Thank you very it's a, much. It's a Thank one you. and done, I suppose, with the marathon. It's, that's do it. Do you not want to try and get no. one done before you're 70? You retired, know? retired, <laughs> over and done. That might get Teresa to do one. How, that, that would be a miracle. <laughs> She'd be just like, I'll do it in the bike, it's fine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
Uh, other than that, guys, like, comment, and subscribe in the YouTube channel. Again, guys, uh, the do the link for Donald's donation on the GoFundMe will be in the description below. But other than that, guys, thank you very much for coming on, Donald. Thank you very much, Virgil. Thank you. Nice. Thanks. Strong. Strong.